Hi, this is Rebecca Levy with CE Week TV, and I am here with Andres Garza from Spin Master with, I don't even feel like he needs an introduction, Meccano. Well, this is the <laughs> Mechanoid G G15KS. He's a robotic oh. toy from Meccano. Okay. Uh, if you're familiar with Erector Set, uh, it's the same thing. We've known it as Meccano everywhere else in the world. In the United States, it's known as Erector for the last 117 years. And this is a robotic friend that kids can build. Kids put this together. It interacts with you through voice recognition. He's got over a thousand phrases in what we call the Mecha Brain. It's this little central microprocessor here. And he's really cool. On top of that, he's a building platform for robotics. So kids can okay. reconfigure this into all kinds of cool stuff and program it super simply. Is this the initial kit? So like you get this in a big old box and you're going to build him literally from the ground up? Literally from the ground up, nut and bolt by bolt. Um, He's going to be four hundred dollars. We're also doing a two hundred dollar version about this. Okay, big, a little his little brother. Build. His little brother. <laughs> so, how do kids? I mean, once they're building it now, how are they interacting with it and playing with it so that it becomes really a part of their life? Well, at the simplest level, kids really just want to make a robot do something cool. Right. Right. So this is what we call learned intelligent programming. Learned intelligent motion. It's the simplest way to program him. I can move him. Hello, a pleasure to be here at CE Week. And then he prompts you to play it back. You push the green button. Oh, wow. There you go. Now this is the simplest level of programming. We're also okay. providing an app, and through the app, they can actually control him through an avatar. We're a little version of him that you can control, basically remote control him. And you can store all of these animations into a, an environment. You can bring them into a drag and drop programming environment. These kids are getting really into programming and okay. learning programming in STEM education today. So they can basically drag these in order, bring in certain inputs, and build behaviors, build games, build their own custom interactivity. And if you had two, would they interact with each other? Uh, currently, no. OK, but, but that's coming. Mm -hmm. And this, I mean, they're incredibly articulated, <laughs> which is amazing for that range of motion. So you really can, um, and I wish people, I don't know if people can see, but like these pieces, they feel very, um, I don't want to say upcycled, but like they feel very basic mm -hmm. and simple, but they're really quite amazing once they're all put together well, in terms of that articulation. Well, yeah, we've, he's got eight servos, and this is where actually a lot of his motion and magic come from. Okay. And they communicate back and forth through his microcontroller, so he can actually sense with these servos, not just move. Now these parts you were mentioning, they're actually like super lightweight, super strong, yeah. and we've designed them out of out of uh, out of plastic because we want kids to start building their own robots. So this system is actually open source. All of these components, we're leaving the three D files Amazing. available on our website, so if they have access to a printer or if kids have a printer, they can expand on their set, build more complex robots, more interesting robots. So it's great. I mean, he's really a robot then, like that grows with your child's imagination, and then they can just take it wherever they want. Absolutely. That's incredible. Thank you so much for yeah. joining us today. It's really cool. This is Rebecca Levy with CE Week TV.